The U.S. today released six men who've been imprisoned at Guantanamo Bay for 12 years. The men are now in Uruguay, the latest step in the Obama administration's effort to close Gitmo for good. Don Daler has details. The six men were detained in 2002 on suspicion of having ties with al-Qaeda, but were never charged. They were cleared for release in 2009 on the condition they not return home. Uruguay offered to take them months ago, but security concerns at the Pentagon delayed their release. CBS well News senior national security consultant Juan Zarate. But even though some of these individuals may not have been inner core al-Qaeda members, they did have connections to al-Qaeda affiliates and other networks. Uh, all these individuals, even if they're deemed not to be security threats, uh, aren't angels and certainly uh, have connections back to uh, certain networks that are of concern. Closing Guantanamo is one of President Obama's key political goals. Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel was slow to sign off on the releases, which created tension inside the White House. Abdeladi Faraj of Syria is one of the released detainees. His attorney, Razmi Qasim, spoke to us via Skype. Why do you think he's been released now? Unfortunately, as is often the case with Guantanamo, the prisoners end up being effectively hostages to U.S. partisan politics. It's had nothing to do with Mr. Faraj. Every single U.S. agency with a stake in national security affairs has signed off on his transfer and has certified that he poses no threat to anyone. Upon their arrival, the men were believed to have been examined at this military hospital. Uruguay has no mosque. The country of 3.3 million is home to only about 300 Muslims. Uruguay's president, Jose Mujica, is himself a former political prisoner. This brings the total number of detainees left in Guantanamo to 136. 67 of those men have been cleared for release or transfer. But, Jeff, they remain in limbo until the U.S. finds a country that will take them. All right, Don, thank you very much.